country's highways and byways from Palm Springs to Central Park, seeking everyday Joes and Janes and testing their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It'll be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few monks short of a monastery. And speaking of players, let's meet them. We got Lisa. Hello, Lisa. And we got Donovan. Donovan, what's up, buddy? Now remember, it's all or nothing on street smarts. That means the winner gets the bucks, while the loser is reminded that losing sucks. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, I made a quick stop at Hooters, where I had Leah doing backflips. I'm here at Hooters, and I'm talking with... Leah. Leah, where are you from? Vancouver, BC. Oh, you're a Canadian, right. How old are you? 19. Oh, you're a very young Canadian. Yep. What do you want to do? Be a forensic scientist. Okay, Leah, do you have any uh, unusual talents? Um, I was a gymnast for 12 years. Can you do a little gymnast move for us? I can. Ten. She stuck the landing. I give her a 9.9. A 10? A 10, I mean. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. And at Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, Eric spared me the gymnastics. Eric, can you do any uh, gymnastic moves like uh, our Hooters girl did? Um, I could do a cartwheel, but since my shirt's not tucked in, I don't think I want to. Okay. <laughs> what three words best describe you? Unbelievable outrageous and really interesting and really interesting Yay! Woo! What's, the most, what's the most interesting thing about eric i could totally mingle in every single situation and just like be a part of the scene and then not die down because i'm really attention grabbing and i'd like to be everywhere and get in everyone's face but in a nice way eric he's a good mingler and finally diana remind me why a picture is worth a thousand words so what do you do um well i'm a sales retailer and you're from here in new york yeah what part Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And now how? So, Diana, you like to take naked pictures of your boyfriend. <laughs> yes, I do. Every day, a different naked picture. Yeah. I didn't really need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Diana, what three words best describe you? Beautiful, sexy, and nasty. Oh. <laughs> Photo. Okay, guys, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question, all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Okay, guys? Yeah. It's now or never, so let's begin. Here's the first question I asked Leah, Eric, and Diana. Where are the mammary glands? So flip up your paddles and tell me who knew it, guys. What do you think, Donovan? Flip up your paddle there, buddy. Oh, there you go. Who knew it, guys? Leah, Eric, or Diana? Can tell me where are the mammary glands? All right, here we go, and you're locked in. We have an Eric, and we have a Leah. Okay, uh, why Eric, Lisa? Why do you think he knows it? Eric, because he just seems like he knows a lot of people, and so maybe he knows about people. Okay, all right, let's see if we can get you 100 bucks. Where are the mammary glands? Mammary glands? Um, mammary with your, probably where your memory is, just the mammary part of it. That's a wrong answer, Lisa. I'm sorry, Eric did not get that right. Now, Donovan, you're going with Leah. You think she knows this? Yes. Okay, let's find out. See if we can get you 100 bucks. She works at Hooters. She works I mean, at Hooters. All right, let's find out. Where are the mammary glands? Aren't they in your breasts? They're in your breasts? In your Hooters. In your Hooters, exactly. That's a correct answer. Way to go, Donovan. Yes, I'm wearing your Hooters shirt. Nice job. 100 bucks for you. Oh, my. Okay, here's the next question, guys. According to legend, who could not tell a lie after chopping down a cherry tree? So what do you think, guys? Who knew that one? You think it was Leah, Eric, or Diana knew, the, knew that legend there? Go ahead, guys. Start spinning. Let me know what you think here. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys are locked in. That was quick. You got Diana. You got Eric. Donovan, why Eric? You think he knows this? Yeah, I don't know. He's been around socializing with a lot of people. I, he probably right. talks he's a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's good at mingling. That's his thing. He's good at mingling, I'm sure. You know, he knows a <laughs> lot right, of people. All right, let's see if we get you 100 bucks. According to legend, who could not tell a lie after chopping down a cherry tree? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> or George Washington. Well, who is it? George Washington. That's your final answer? Uh, it better, it better, yeah. That's right. It is? Thank God. Okay. <laughs> George Washington is the right answer. Eric knew it for you. Way to go. You have 200 bucks. Now, Lisa, you think Diana knew this, so we're going to check in and see if she can get you 100 bucks. Let's find out if she did. According to legend, who could not tell a lie after chopping down a cherry tree? Abraham Lincoln. That's an incorrect oh, answer, Lisa. It's George Washington. Man, I'm sorry. Man, Donovan's got 200 man, bucks man. here. Lisa, you got nothing. But here's the last question around. We get you on the board. I asked all three of them in slang terms, what's a pie hole? Who knew it? Leah, Eric, or Diana can tell me what a pie hole is, guys. 
All right, Donovan's going for a perfect score this round. Lisa's just hoping to score. All right, you guys are locked in. We have an Eric, we have a Diana. Donovan, you're going for three for three here. You think Diana's going to do it for you, huh? Yeah, yeah, she's from Brooklyn. She knows things like okay, that. Okay, let's yeah, check it out. In slang terms, what's a pie hole? A pie hole? Stick it up your f So it's <laughs> pie holes your butt. It's your butt, yeah, yeah. That's an incorrect answer. I'm sorry, Diana did not know that answer, Donovan. That's not correct. Now, Lisa, you think Eric's gonna pull through for you, huh? Yes. All right, let's even get you 100 bucks, get you on the board. In slang terms, what's a pie hole? <laughs> <laughs> Butt crack. Butt crack? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa, that's not a right answer. Eric did not know that. For a correct answer, Leah knew it. Let's hear what it is. In slang terms, what's a pie hole? Your mouth. Your mouth is a pie hole? Like, shut your pie hole, yeah. <laughs> Why would someone say shut your pie hole? I don't know, because you eat pie through your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right answer, Leah knew it. Shut your pie hole, like Robert De Niro in a boy's life. He used to always say that. Okay, let's recap the scores. Lisa, you got no money right now. You're at zero. Don't worry. Donovan, you got 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice job. All right, folks, wet your whistle. We're going to find out who blew it when we return. Come on back. What kind of monster was Sigmund? Uh, he was a mad scientist. Mad scientist? Yeah, Sigmund and Freud, right? There you go. Uh, <laughs> mad scientist. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our fabulous players. We have Lisa here. Now, Lisa, I understood you, uh, you grew up to be kind of the family psychic. Yes, Frank, I've predicted six family and friends' pregnancies. Oh, yeah? And the last two were, they were sisters, and um, one of them knew that she was pregnant, the other one didn't know. And I said that they're both pregnant and they were both having boys, and Whoa. I was right. Now, do you have any psychic predictions about uh, today? To you, show? you're next. I'm pregnant next. Yes. Great, okay, it's a rounded <laughs> test all over again. I'll let all you right. know. Okay, now, Donovan, you have an unusual story here about a Cabbage Patch doll. Yeah, Frank, I had this Cabbage Patch <laughs> when I was a kid that I really, really loved, but I would turn on it suddenly and I would just <laughs> smack it and hit it and beat it. Right. And then immediately after that, and I would feel so overwhelmed with guilt right. and I would cry, so I'd put it in my room and pretend to readopt it, right. have a clean slate, promise that I'd be a really right. good dad, never do you know, it again. They have but pills for that nowadays. You know, yeah, kind of you control your anger. Use one right okay. Now. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, you guys are great. Thanks for being here. It's time to pull out all the stops as we start our next hey. round. Hey. Who blew it? This time, Lisa, question. Two of our Boulevard Brainiacs. One answered right, one answered wrong. Now, each time Lisa or Dun uh, Donovan correctly identifies which Brainiac bungled the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. And you can earn an extra 200 bones by using the dunch cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think your opponent doesn't have the IQ to answer, pound the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. Okay, guys, here's the first question I asked to both Leah and Eric. Who was famous for being the Italian stallion? Flip oh my god, let's see. Donovan, you got dunce. Lisa, put the cap on him. That was uh, good. You both went in on, but Lisa got you, got you by one second there, Donovan. $200 on the line. If you get it right, the money's yours. But if you get it wrong, Lisa gets it. I'm going to read it again. you got five seconds to answer it. Who was famous for being the Italian stallion? That would be Sylvester Stallone. The right answer. There's the bell. Just like in Rocky. I'm sorry, Lisa. He gets the $200. We're going to wear the cap now. All right, guys. Flip up your paddles. All right, flip up your paddles, guys. Tell me who blew it up there, Leah or Eric. All right, Leah or Eric blew that one. Go ahead and start spinning, guys. Let me know. All right, let's see. Okay, that was quick. You guys are locked in. One has Leah, one has Eric. And uh, Lisa, you think Leah's going to miss this one? Yes, because I think Eric knows it. Okay, all right. Good strategy. <laughs> hey, let's see. Yeah, that's really Who is famous for being the Italian stallion? Rocky. I'm also known as the Italian stallion. Oh. <laughs> Can I guess that one? <laughs> Which way is the beach, that way? <laughs> Which way is the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Right, she knew it. She didn't blow it. It looks like Eric's the one who blew it. Let's watch. Donovan. Who was famous for being the Italian stallion? Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. <laughs> I thought he was Spanish, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he blew it. Way to go, Donovan. Another turn of watch for you. He takes up to 600. We're pitching a shutout against her, Lisa. Against Lisa. Okay, guys, here's the next question I asked to Leah and to Diana. I asked them both, what does soup du jour mean? What does soup du jour mean? Who blew it? Who did not know that answer, guys? Was it Leah or Diana? Okay, and you're both locked in. You both think Diana blew it. Donovan, she doesn't know this one? Yeah, I mean, Leah works in a restaurant, so I assume that, you know, okay. she Okay, I'm know. sure it looks like Lisa agrees with you. Let's see if we can get you both 200 bucks. What does soup du jour mean? Soup that you can enjoy. Soup that you can enjoy. Yeah. Soup du jour. Soup enjoy. Yeah. That's a wrong answer. You both had Diana. Way to go. $200. Lisa, you're on the board with $200. All right, for the uh, correct answer, Leah, 
Yeah, she did know. She's in a restaurant. Let's watch. What does soup du jour mean? Soup of the day. Soup of the day. What's the soup of the day today? Um, turkey gumbo. Give me a little Cajun. Hey, down here, turkey gumbo. I don't Ooh, know. It's hot. Came about home to how? You talk like that. Hold on, Leah. Oh, she's finally so attractive. <laughs> I said that one. Right. Well, what lady wouldn't? Ooh. Oh, my God. How scary is that? Did we have to show that? All right, here's the last question of the round, guys. I asked to Eric and Diana. I asked them both, what does the term no glove, no love refer to? Who blew that one? Eric or Diana didn't know that one, guys. What do you think? Okay, wow. You guys are both locked in. It didn't take you long. Lisa, you think Eric blew it? Diana knows about love. Okay, so. all right. Let's see if Eric blew it for both of you. Eric, what does the term no glove, no love refer to? If you don't got a glove, you ain't got love. That means no pleasure spanking for you. No pleasure spanking? Yeah, pleasure spanking. Oh, you think the, like the glove's like a, some sort of... Like some sort of that two letters, but I'm not going to say them. But what they come after R, Q, R. Oh, S and M? Yeah. <laughs> Something. He blew it. Way to go, guys. You both got Eric. That was a long answer. The correct answer is no sex without a condom. No glove, no love. All right, let's recap the scores. Lisa, you got 400 bucks. All right. But Donovan, you're up to $1,000. You got a grand. All right, now that our players think they know these cerebral stallions, we'll see who they choose to ride when we return. because we're about to start our next round. Pick your pony. This time, Lisa and Donovan will each choose one of our three thoroughbreds for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 smackaroos, and we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. It can only be used once, and it's worth another 300 bucks. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. Lisa, that's you. So who would you like to ride out the round with? I'm going to choose Diana because she's just, we don't know enough about her. Okay, all right, let's find, we'll find out more about Diana. Donovan, how about you with the lead? I'm going to choose Eric. I don't think he knows much outside of a bar. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's crazy. All right, very good, guys. So Lisa, here's the first question. <laughs> okay. Here's the first question to Diana. I asked her, what is mustard gas? Oh, you've been dunced, Lisa. Donovan, throw it up there. The crowd's chin dunced, 300 bucks on the line. If you missed this question, Donovan gets the money, but if you get it right, you hold on to the bread and we're going to put the cap on him. I'm going to read it again. you got five seconds. What is mustard gas? Something they use in war. Uh, more info? To make your eyes water. That's a right answer. We're going to give it to way to go, Lisa. Nice job. We're going to go to Lisa up to seven. We put that cap on Donovan. Very nice job. Donovan didn't think you'd know it, but you came through. Now, uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think Diana got it right or wrong? Wrong. You think she got it wrong? All right, let's find out. What is mustard gas? When you get gas from me and too much mustard. <laughs> Who's this happened to? My Uncle Patrick, the cheapskate. I want him to know this, he's cheap. <laughs> she got it wrong, way to go. Now look at this, you tied up the score. You got 600 bucks on that portion, Lisa. You both got $1,000, nice yeah. job. Yeah. Correct answer, a type of nerve gas used in World War I. Okay, Donovan, here's the first question. Eric, I asked him, if someone suggests you take a little R&R, &R, what are they talking about? Do you think Eric got this right or wrong? Oh, Lisa's made this a, a tie game. That's that was tough. unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to go with, I think, maybe, I think he got it right. You think he got it right? All right, let's yeah. check it out, see if he came through for you. If someone suggests that you take a little R&R, &R, what are they talking about? They're talking about rest and relaxation. There you go. Yes! He got it right. Way to go, yeah. Donovan. Back in the lead, $1,300. All right, Lisa, you can catch up again here if you predict this one correct. I asked Diana, if you have sex annually, what are you doing? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> think she got it right or wrong? I think she got it right. She got this one right? All right, for a tie game, let's find out. If you have sex annually, what are you doing? You having sex annually once a year. There you go, once a year. Is that enough for you? Once a year? It should, it's enough for me. I, once a year, I'm fine. Okay. No, not enough for me or my man, no. <laughs> That's a right answer. Way to go, Lisa. You're up to thirteen hundred dollars. Good game going close, here, guys. Close. Yeah, here's the next question for you, uh, for you, Donovan to Eric. What was Lance Armstrong known to be missing when he competed in the Tour de France? Uh, he definitely got this wrong. He got this no one wrong. Way. Okay. No way. All right. Let's this. see if you can take another lead. What was Lance Armstrong known to be missing when he competed in the Tour de France? <laughs> He's like, like has some disability, like some kind of. He's got a tumor or a kidney. A lot of people waiting to hear this one. His backbone. He was missing his backbone. <laughs> like one of the parts. He was missing it. a testicle. A, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he got it wrong, Donovan. Way to go. Takes up to $1,600. We got some high.
high scoring going on in this game. Wow. Okay. Now, uh, Lisa, here's the last question of the round for you. So if you get this, you'll type the game at 1600. Donovan yeah. will still have a chance to, to get ahead on his last question of the round, but this is going to be a close wager death here. Okay, I asked Diana, what does AOL stand for? Do you think she got it right or wrong? Oh. What do you think, Lisa? How quiet it is in here. You think she got it wrong? <laughs> All right, let's check it out, see if we can tie it up again. <laughs> Diana, what does AOL stand for? I'm not too sure, because I don't know anything about computers, but I would say it's always online. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrong answer. Way to go, Lisa. Whoa, up to $1,600. Um, wow. AOL cool. stands online. for what, audience? AOL is? America Online. America Online. Okay, I'm glad one person led you in that. All right, <laughs> All right here's the last question, Eric. Tie game, buddy, $1,600 apiece. Who did Simple Simon meet on the way to the fair? Uh, he got it wrong. He got it wrong. <laughs> yep. All right, for an advantage for the wager death, let's see. Who did Simple Simon meet on the way to the fair? Hard. <laughs> hard Jason, I don't know. Hard Jason? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's Hard Jason? <laughs> His really close buddy from high school that he hasn't seen for a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me check. Yeah, that's a wrong answer. Yeah. Way to go, Duncan. You get the 300 bucks. Um, wow. That's actually a, that's a hard one. You guys know who it is? Simple Simon. What? A pie man. It's a pie man. There you go. Simple Simon and a pie man. All right, let's recap the scores. Lisa, heck of a comeback here. You're up to $1,600. Yeah. Duncan, that last prediction is up to $1,900. So hopefully someone can win some big money. Now, when we return, Lisa and Donovan will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Aaliyah, Eric, and Diana. I asked them, how many decades did the 30-year war last? <laughs> Only one player will survive our final round. The wager. Find out who when we return. Come on back. <laughs> Welcome back. Lisa and Donovan, here's the scoop. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out of the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Lisa, big comeback here. She's in a good spot. She's got $1,600. Yeah. Donovan, you got $1,900. You got that last prediction right in the last round. Gave you the slight advantage. Nice job. Now remember, only the winner pockets any cash, which means everything rides on this final question. And here it is. I asked Leah, Eric, and Diana, how many decades did the 30-year war last? Okay, now Lisa, you're trailing here. It'd be a nice Cinderella story here if you made that big comeback. <laughs> Whose clip do you want to see to see if you can uh, win the game? You're going to go with Eric. All right, now Donovan, how about you? I'm going to go with Leah. You're going to go with Leah. All right, well, nobody picked Diana. We're going to say bye to Diana. She's gone. And Lisa, we're going to check out Eric's clip. Here we go. How many decades did the 30-year war last? 30, three decades. Three decades. How many years are in a decade? 10. Okay, that's a right answer. Three decades is a correct answer. 30-year war from 1618 to 1648. Eric got it right, Lisa. What did you say you would do? You said you would get it wrong. Oh, no. How much is that going to cost you of your $1,600? You bet. She bet all of it. Bust you down to zero. Donovan, you're in the driver's seat here. You had Leah or Hooters girl. Let's check in with her, see if she got it right or wrong. How many decades did the 30-year war last? Three. <laughs> That's a correct answer. She said three. It was the 30-year war. Three decades, folks. All right, Donovan, you have 1,900 bucks. Leah got that answer right. Did you say she'd get it right? I said she did it oh, right. Oh, Donovan, how much you going home with? You wagered. 